Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic uh, UEFA Euro Soccer. Two box, hobby box, a two box random country break number three. We sold 12 spots, all cards shipped as well, to sold 12 spots and everyone gets two countries from this list below. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into it, so let's double your names up. And we got all the teams right here. Now if you think this looks a little weird, it's because RAM.org is down, so we have to use PsychicScience.org slash random list uh, as an alternative. But thanks for your patience while we while we do this. All right. Now, I have to use live dice, too, which is a treat. We don't get to use that too often. So this will be for the, the number of times I randomize for names and, and countries. And we got a... We got four the hard way, two and a two. So, one, two, three, and four. Got Matt down to Scott. And then four times for the countries. One, two, three, and four. So we got Sweden on top down to Ukraine. All right, so Matt, with Sweden, Belgium, Slovakia, and North Macedonia, Scott with Spain, Leo with Hungary, Matt with Turkey and England, Leo with Portugal, Matt with Scotland and Russia, Jonathan with the Czech Republic, Matt Lieber with Denmark, Leo with Germany, Jonathan with Italy, Matt with France, Leo with Poland and Finland, Matt with Wales, Rosario with the Netherlands, Leo with Switzerland, Matt with Croatia, Rosario with Austria, and Scott with the Ukraine. What a great game for them against Sweden. All right, so let's sort by country right here. We'll leave the video running. Um, any trades here in random country break number three? And here are the two boxes right here. One autograph per box, all card ship. We got Suns, uh, Suns at Clippers on in the background. Suns up by six, beginning of the second half. Clippers keeping things close, shorthanded too. No Kawhi, no Zubac tonight. Any trades? Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed, TWC. All right. I'm going to print out that list, and let's see what we can find in these two boxes. Thanks again. Everyone here on this list. Um, who does everyone have winning at all in in uh, 2020 Euro Euro 2020 here in here in 2021? So uh, Friday and the one says Forza Italia, Forza Azzurri. Yeah. I, th I think the Italians look pretty good here. So the quarterfinals on Friday, so in a couple days, it'll be Switzerland, Spain, Belgium, Italy. And then on Saturday, it'll be Czech Republic, Denmark, Ukraine, England. So we got the one, four, five, six, Forza Azzurri. Aaron going with the three Lions. And Jens had Germany. Well, but now now that they're out, who, who, are you, who, are you, who do you think?
England took care of business against against the Germans, of course. I think we got a good slate of a uh, good slate of quarterfinals matchups right here. All right, all cards ship. It might be worth looking up some of these rookies here. You may be surprised. Worth looking up almost every one of these cards that you get, especially parallels, because you may be surprised at how well they do in the secondary market. Nice Jaden Sancho. We were talking about him off off camera, not too long about where he may end up. In England, perhaps. Northern England, perhaps. Jaden Sancho uh, for Matt Lieber and England. Ah, Jens is going to take, is, is thinking England, the three lions. It's coming home. Well, they got some guys. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. I think Leo with, with Portugal. They got guys like Jaden Sancho, Phil Foden. Denmark's still in it. Man, poor, poor Christian Eriksen. I think he's on the mend, though. I'm a fan of Diago Jota because he's on my club, Liverpool. A pretty disappointing performance from France. Just the way they lost was that to me was on it was was unexpected. They were up three one in this seventy sixth some odd minute, seventy plus minutes. And there's Diot uh, Upen Kano, 88 out of 99 for Le Bleu. And the uh, blue parallel for Le Bleu. For France. Matt Lieber with that one. Yeah, Portugal too. Although Portugal, you kind of saw it coming because that they just struggled with... The defense was a struggle for them. And so we knew that they would ship goals. There's Declan Rice, part of that England midfield. Mosaic pattern, Kylian Mbappe. He's got a lot to think about until the next major tournament. Well, Mason Greenwood, we like him too. Tony Cruz. Germany will have some re-tinkering to do. I think Germany fired their, let their coach go, or is that, or no? Did that happen? Oh, he retired. Got it. Oh, either way, I mean, Jeremy will have to kind of rethink some things. And they still have guys like Kai Havertz. And there's Ivan Rakitic for the Croatians. Croatia, that'll be for Matt Lieber. Next box. Yeah, I mean, hey, with with the quarterfinals, Brian, coming up, I think people are all into some some uh, some UEFA Euro twenty twenty soccer. All right, second box. 
Yeah, it's not, and I I like this too because it's like it's mosaic first of all, and I think mosaic the mosaic brand has been pretty popular. So you take a popular brand and something you don't see too often, soccer, and that's a good combination. After having like multiple matches a day for like the last couple of weeks or so, I was kind of lost like the last couple of days. It was like just turning on TV and it's like, wait, there's no soccer. <laughs> I usually wake up and there's something going on. And I was like, all right. A lot of stuff going on Friday inside. There's Bukayo Saka. Um, kid from a kid on Arsenal. I don't know, Brian. We were just talking about that a few minutes ago. Switzerland, Spain, Belgium, Italy, Czech Republic, Denmark, Ukraine, Italy. Who do I have gone? I feel like just because I mean I'm so so much more familiar with the 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 players on the England squad. Like my heart is kind of with the England squad, and and you know they're a, they're a, they haven't won a major tournament since 1966. I want to say there's a Jack Grealish red. But my wallet was on. I think my wallet was on France. They disappointed me, but I've sprinkled a little bit on Italy, Switzerland, and Denmark. I want to say. So, I feel like the Swiss can get by Spain. All right, no? <laughs> but then if they face Italy or Belgium, I think it's going to be tough for the Swiss. I don't know. Ukraine's in the quarterfinals. So, Alexander Zubkov could make a name for himself. It'd be nice to have his mosaic rookie, if he does, or his mosaic silver. Both of those going to Scott and the Ukraine. He'll be paying attention to the Ukraine-England match on Saturday. You know, get this guy too. And we got Paolo Maldini. Forza Azuri. That's going to go to Jonathan with Italy. Yeah, it seems like it could be it could be England's time. That is for sure. Um, we know that they've got the they haven't really flashed it just yet, at least in the group stage. But they certainly have the offense. But it's their uh, it's actually their defense have been, that has been playing really well. So I don't know. I know everyone wants like. Everyone wants like, hey, let's let's get some sexy football going, you know. But I, don't know, I think uh, I think England has a decent combination of young players, some old players, some offensive-minded players, but a steady midfield and defense. I think has been pretty solid. Yeah, Lukaku is pretty dangerous for Belgium. We'll see him in action. The one four five six saying U.S. will be a contender for a World Cup within ten years. Contender? Maybe. I know that. I know that. I don't. I can't tell. I. I'll be honest with you. I haven't really followed the U.S. team too closely, but in the Gold Cup coming up, I think we can. But I, I'm pretty sure the U.S. has a lot of youngsters at a similar age in the in their early twenties who could all be in the same window that peaks when the World Cup arrives in North America. So by then, with essentially a home field advantage for us, that could be our best shot <laughs> for the United States, for this best shot for, for us for the next X amount of decades. 35 out of 99, Virgil van Dijk, the big Liverpool center back, injured, did his ACL, but probably a reason why Netherlands struggled in the tournament. 
But my, my colleague, Nick Jaspi, who, uh, who I believe plays a lot of FIFA, was saying, Joe, there's actually a lot of, a lot of, a lot of youngsters in their early 20s coming up the ranks that could, you know, Pulisic is only like 22 or something like that, a bunch of other younger players in their early 20s that could peak around the time the World Cup comes to North America. So that might be your best shot. Fingers crossed. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This was Random Country Break number three, Mosaic Footy. Um, I'll see you next time for another one. Bye-bye.